controversies and, and new regulations surrounding food dyes. You know, are they bad for you? Are they going to give you cancer? Are they going to give you autism? They have like a really long history in the U.S. Um, and it's kind of interesting. Like, like it's sort of at the genesis of the FDA and food regulations where um, people were like, oh, like companies are adding like mercury and lead, which have a color to them, to food products. And that's not safe. And so you see this evolution over the the, the 20th century of like regulations of, of food additives generally, and that food colorings actually get their own separate category. You'll learn this about a lot of, I think, things in, in regulation, probably generally, but especially food. Like it's quite adaptive to like issues and it just grows and evolves over time. And it might not be the way you'd want the system to be if you just sat down and planned it out, but it's more... I think most regulation is quite responsive. And so food colors get this like separate categorization than food additives in America, partially because this um, this history of particularly egregious things being added to food to provide color that are unsafe or being added to foods that have been spoiled uh, or some aspect of their quality has been reduced to add color to it so that it uh, looks more appealing to consumers.